Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs and we are going to be going around trying all the new snacks for the month of June. Of course, we have Gideon's to look forward to and their new cookie of the month, but June is also Pride Month, so there's a whole bunch of different Pride snacks and even some beverages that I can't wait to show you guys. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is June 1st, so it's the first of the month, and I always come to Disney Springs on the first of the month to try all the new items, and because it's Pride Month, they have this really awesome photo opportunity here. How cool is that? We're gonna head straight back to Gideon so we can put our name on the virtual wait list. It could be a 15 minute wait or it could be a three hour wait, who knows? And also I wanted to point out that June 1st is also the start of the Florida hurricane season, so we are in it. We're in the hurricane season now. Yeah. Looks like there was no virtual wait list today. It's all just a standby line. And it's only gonna be like maybe a five to 10 minute wait. And here is the new menu for the month of June. I love it. It looks really, really cool. And then of course, the new cookie of the month is the white chocolate caramel macadamia nut cookie. And this is a returning uh, classic. Like this has been here before, but they improved the recipe and the salted caramel is a little bit stronger. And then also the rainbow crunch cake which was on the menu for Saturdays is now gonna be on the uh, menu every single day for the month of June for Pride Month so that's gonna be cool because everybody loved that cake including myself the marshmallow frosting was amazing on top of the cookie I think they brought back the salted caramel cold brew so since we're getting a salted caramel cookie maybe I'll get the salted caramel cold brew and then later on I think we're gonna hop over to polite pig because they have a special drink for the month of June that I can't wait to show you guys as well looks like it's our turn oh boy how you doing <laughs> you're good there it is the new cookie of the month white chocolate caramel macadamia nut and then they have the coffee cake cookie right there the original chocolate chip and then lots of cake slices actually and of course we can see the rainbow crunch one there i'm so excited i had the rainbow crunch last time i was here so i think i'm just gonna stick to the cookies today all right i got my salted caramel cold brew and then here comes the white chocolate caramel macadamia nut cookie i am so excited gotta flip it upside down look at this bad boy Oh, it looks amazing. I am so excited. This might be like one of my favorite style cookies. It just looks amazing. Look at that. Look at the bottom. Look at the undercarriage of this cookie. The undercarriage, I say. Also, just want to throw out a quick fit check here, but take a look at the Batman Roosevelt shirt I'm wearing today. Isn't that amazing? I love this shirt so much. It's so colorful, and you have Harley Quinn, you have Joker. Very, very cool. There is a promo code in the description. You guys know PMM20 for your first order. It's so amazing. Anywho, let's get to this cookie. Let's, let's, let's break this cookie down here. So we're gonna actually set it up and we're gonna go right, right down the middle here. See how the cookie crumbles. Look at that. I am so excited. <laughs> oh wait, I'm taking the smaller piece here. The smaller piece first, always. We're gonna go in, going for the first bite. Wow. That is seriously such an amazing experience. Wow. In between the white chocolate, the macadamia nuts, and you can taste that salted caramel. Now we're gonna enhance it by having some of the salted caramel cold brew. We're gonna enhance the cookie. Wow. That is so good. Phenomenal. These cookies are banging. This is, wow. I don't think I've ever ranked any of the cookies before you know I never put them in order uh, and I'm thinking maybe I should and if I do this might be in the top three for me I mean I love I love white chocolate macadamia nuts and I add the little caramel twist to it and it's like the perfect cookie for me and I think I'm gonna work on a list I'm gonna put together my top three Gideon's cookies and I think this actually might be in there so I'll share it with you maybe the next time we come or next month let me know in the comments what your favorite cookie is like you know what I mean? It's tough for me to say. I did love the Kris Kringle cookie. That was one of my favorites. There's so many amazing different flavors that they have. And the pistachio one's a, always a go-to classic. But this right here, much too good. Much, much too good. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the caramel inside the cookie. Look at that. It's actually all throughout the cookie. It's perfectly balanced, and I love that. 
Also, I have to say, I like how I pair up my cold brews with my cookies. You know what I mean? If I'm getting a peanut butter cookie, I get the peanut butter cold brew. If I got a cookies and cream cookie, I get the cookies and cream cold brew. And I did that today with the salted caramel. And a little birdie said that there could be possibly, maybe, possibly, maybe, a new cold brew coming out next month. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Our next stop is gonna take us over here to Aaron McKinnon's Bakery. And I always like to try to show something here. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have something for Pride Month. And it's always cool to point out that it's always vegan, always gluten free, and always delicious. Whenever I come here, usually my go-to is the pineapple upside down cake. Let me tell you something, that is phenomenal. And I would get that today if we weren't looking for specially like month items. So if they have a specially month item, we're gonna go with that. If not, probably a pineapple upside down cake. And take a look at this, they've got rainbow pride month cake bar. Thank you, yeah. it's Batman. That is awesome. It's very colorful, right? So I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna grab myself a Rainbow Pride Month cake bar. They look so fancy. Yeah. <laughs> and here it is, look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's, it's vegan, it's gluten free, and it's delicious. And it's a vanilla cake, which is like vanilla icing, and then a sugar cookie heart on top. And I can't wait to dive into it. Like, and I always, sometimes in the past, I always call Aaron McKinnon's Kate McKinnon because I just think McKinnon and I think of Saturday Night Live. But I'm excited to dive into this. All right, we're gonna take a little bite on the corner here. That's amazing. How? It really does blow my mind how they can make this without eggs or butter or milk. And it's still so good. And that's how the whole entire bakery is. I mean, that is phenomenal. So good. And it's gonna be uh, the special of the month, all month long for uh, Pride Month. Now that we got to try another snack, I think it's time to switch it up a little bit and maybe grab ourselves a drink. Look for something that's like a monthly special. And you know the Flight Pig is always one of my favorite places to go. And I'm pretty sure they have a special drink for the month of June. So we'll head over there next and uh, I brought my cake home with me. I mean, I don't know if I need to tell you guys about this, but I might as well disclose it. Usually whenever I do food reviews like this, I don't actually eat all the food. So I usually end up at the end of the day with a, a whole bunch of snacks. I always keep my Gideons. Sometimes I don't like take them home, like the cake. I was like, oh, I kind of want to keep this because it was really good. But usually that's what a review is in like a, re a review. You try it, sample it, you don't eat a lot. So that way you can try more. <laughs> As we make our way over to the Polite Pig though, I think maybe I should run into Sprinkles here and get Gracie or Pupcakes. And also see if they have a special cupcake for the month of June. Yeah, we'll just go take a little quick stop in. Little pit stop at Sprinkles. All right, the Pup Cups have been secured. I'm so excited. And they do have a special cupcake for the month of June. And it's not ready yet, but they sent me a picture. So I'm gonna show you guys that once we get outside. Gracie's gonna be so excited they got the bones back on top of the cupcakes. She's gonna love it. She noticed they've been missing. She knows. And here are a look at the cupcakes that are gonna be here. I think they start June 3rd. And doesn't it look so awesome? It says love, love on them. And of course they have little sprinkles, but they also have sprinkles on the inside. I wish they were available today because I would love to break one in half, but uh, they will be here very soon. So if you see it, be on the lookout for these. I cannot wait to give Gracie her pup cake later on. She's been looking for them, man. I felt bad. I ran out and I haven't been back to Disney Springs, so I got her some today and she's gonna be happy. All right, and here we are, our next stop, the Polite Pig. And here it is, the monthly special, the Pride and Passion Cooler, a refreshing drink made with rum, apple pucker, and passion fruit puree. And it comes with little sprinkles on the rim there, a nice rainbow straw. I love it. It's very photogenic, don't you think? Like, <laughs> very fancy. We gotta give it the sip test here. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really good. Very, very refreshing. I like this a lot. I definitely like the apple pucker in there and a little bit of a rum mix. And I, I, like I said, I think just the way it looks sells it on its own, but cheers. 
I really feel like this is one of those drinks you don't want to drink because it will make it look not so pretty. And that's what it's happening right now. I kind of like, I'm like, wait, I want to just look at it a little bit more. And something else I want to point out to you that I feel incredibly, incredibly honored. Take a look at this Piggy Hour menu. And this is the happy hour. If you guys remember last time I was here, I got the sweet tea wings and sweet tea fried chicken. But take a look at the top here on the menu itself in honor of Mr. Morrow. I am very honored. That is the best thing ever. I am so excited. Cheers. <laughs> If you do plan on coming out for Piggy Hour, it's Monday through Thursday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And it's $2 off Ravenous Pig Beer, which is their uh, beer here. And then cocktails are $2 off. And all of the Polite Bar Bites are $9. And that's including the Sweet Tea Wings and the Pork Belly Lettuce Wraps. Such an amazing deal. Also, as we're sitting here, we get a sneak peek at the new cocktail that they're gonna have for next month and it's a Collide uh, Mojito, which is a mojito with rum and bourbon in it. If you guys didn't know, bourbon is a thing here at Polite Pig. So, cheers to that. Wow. That is really good. I don't think I've ever had a mojito with bourbon in it before, but I like it. All right, it's time to move along. The pride and passion drink at Polite Pig was amazing, but we need to make our way over here to Amaretz and get ourselves the special monthly cake. Now, I noticed that they don't have any advertisement out for it, because usually they have it on the stanchion sign, but uh, it's not here. And I know they have it, because they know that I'm coming. So once we go inside, we'll get a look at it. The best thing about coming and doing these videos monthly like I do is you kind of get in a routine of things, you know what I mean? I always have certain places that I go to and that I know and even them, like the people that work there, they know that I'll be coming like on the first of the month or nearer then and it's so awesome because you get to meet people and talk about like the last time you got to have something and it's really, really fun. And here it is, the Jewel of Pride. Dark chocolate chiffon cake, salted caramel, buttered popcorn mousse, Chocolate covered pretzels, candied pecan pieces, covered in a white chocolate glaze. And it looks so fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and here it is, look at that. Looking all fancy. It had like this nice little tiny loop on top, but I touched it and it fell apart. It's very fragile, see? Ooh, and it just fell apart more. But I like how they have the little rainbow Mickey down here. And I'm not too sure what this piece was, but I'm gonna put it back up there. There we go. And we're gonna cut into it here now. And I'm, ex I'm so excited for this because this looks just so fancy. So we're going all in. Ooh! <laughs> oh wow, look at the inside there. Oh my lord. Pretzels and pecans. They've got everything. Here we go, first bite. This looks so amazing. Like I said, between the pretzels, the pecan, the cake and everything. Wow. That is phenomenal. I'm not even kidding. This might be the best thing I think I've ever had at Amaretz. I really, really love this. Like, that is so good. I was not expecting it to be this good. Sadly, this is something that probably won't make it home. It doesn't hold up in the heat too well. I've, I, I've experimented with the chiffon cakes from here before, and uh, they don't, you know, they don't make it. They're not gonna make it, but I'm gonna enjoy as much as I can now. I highly suggest this, so like if I can tell you to come out and get one thing, this might be it. I mean, if you like pretzels, pecans, and cakes, which who doesn't? Like you gotta at least like one of those things. That was so amazing. Like, holy moly. Like I, like I said, I think that's probably my favorite thing I've ever gotten from Amaretz. Even though I love the pistachio eclair, that's my go-to there. Like. When it's non like monthly specials, I usually get the pistachio uh, eclair, but that right there, so amazing. I made my way to the front where World of Disney is and I saw this big sign here that says Disney Springs Art Walk, a canvas of expression. Join us in celebration of creativity. Visit an outdoor gallery showcasing the work of local and international artists and the vibrant cultures that shape them. So we might actually swing back and check that out in a little bit. It's located adjust to the uh, town center bus loop and that's the other way. So we'll have to check that out on the way out. 
before we actually go check out the artwork. Since we're up here by the World of Disney, might as well take a peek, see inside, see if anything catches our fancy and buy it. If I mean, if anything does catch our fancy, we should buy it. Oh my lord, look at this. I am so shocked right now. Gracie is gonna be in heaven. It is a little dog bed. Relax and recharge. I can't even get over this. I'm buying it right now. I'm buying it now. They have so much stuff, not just dog beds. They have collars, they have chew toys, they have mats. Oh my Lord, I might get this mat too. Look at this, because right now she's sitting, I think she's eating on my uh, contemporary mat, but this is too good. I'm getting it all. Oh, she's gonna love it. I can't wait to set it up when I get home and see her sit down in it. I got like so shocked when I saw it and I ran over, but these are the best things ever. The dog bed is $44.99. It has Cinderella Castle all around the outside of it. Grace is gonna love this. She's gonna have pup cups, a new bed, and a new uh, dining mat when she gets home. I can't wait to set it all up. Seriously, this is so cute. <laughs> well, well worth it. I gotta see how much the dining mat is. I don't see anything. I'm calling it a dining mat. I don't see a price for it, but it doesn't matter. Price doesn't matter. I'll take it. I'll buy it at a high price. I'm using the mobile checkout and it looks like my total came to $55.36 with the uh, Mickey Mouse mat and the bed and I will pay that all day. All day, every day. I cannot wait to see her reaction. She doesn't need a new bed. She loves the bed that she has, but I want this bed for her. <laughs> Oh my lord, if you guys can see the way I look when I'm walking around with all these bags, it's hysterical. I'm actually going to set the camera up and walk by and show you guys. As I was like walking by the camera, I literally was hearing the song from Pretty Woman in my head as I was walking by. And I don't even know why, it just felt that way. Because you know that one day when she goes back and she's like, do you work on commission? <laughs> but I mean, I didn't even buy anything, like anything that's worth commission, it just felt like it. Pretty woman, walking down the street, pretty woman. All right, now we gotta make our way down to the canvas of art display. I wanna check it out. But like I said, I have no idea why the Pretty Woman soundtrack popped in my head there, but I liked it. Oh, well look at this sign here too. This is nice. This isn't the art of canvas, but I kinda like it. I didn't notice it until now. I'm glad that sometimes I make a big loop around so then I can catch all the things I didn't see when I first walked in. Oh, I think these are the art canvases right here over by the bus depot. And it's pretty. It's actually really nice. I'm happy I came and looked at it this way. There's a couple of them here. Oh, and then we have some nice walls over here. These are some good photo walls. That is so cool. I would have never known that these were over here if I didn't see that sign. Because normally, I don't take the buses to any of the resorts and I either park in the garage or go to the Uber and rideshare lo uh, pickup location. So I would have never known. Pretty, pretty fancy though. All right, now we have to make our way down to the other side of Disney Springs to Everglades Donut because they have a special Pride Month donut that I cannot wait to show you guys. And I normally don't visit this location that much. I don't go to Everglades Donuts that much, but I thought today I had to show it. It looks so cool. And take a look at that, the Pride Donut. All these donuts look amazing. They have Mounds of Coconut Dream, the Nifty 50, the Nifty 50, and then a Fruity Pebbles one too, so I'm very excited. Holy moly, this donut is gigantic. Look at this. We're gonna open it up here. <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna be able to finish this, but what? That is crazy, crazy. And of course, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to break it open. We have to see what's inside. So here we go. Oh, should I do it this way? Oh boy, this is really gonna ruin this color. Oh no, we gotta do it this way. Gotta do it this way. Oh, that's a little gummy there. <laughs> Technically, we did not need to break that donut open because there's nothing on the inside, but it was cool. <laughs> now we gotta try it. There's no way I'm gonna be able to finish this one, but we gotta try it at least. Mmm, super sweet, wow. <laughs> 
This is super, super sweet. I mean, if you like sweet stuff, you're gonna love this donut. I feel like I've had too much sweet stuff today, so I think it's getting to me. But the gummy's really good. I like the little rubber gummy. Rubber gummy. <laughs> the, the gummy gummy. The rainbow gummy. Wow, my words, they're not working. I feel like the donuts here at Everglaze are very dense. Like they're not very airy, and I like donuts like very airy and fluffy. These are just massive. Very, very big donuts, very dense, and uh, yeah, I think it's just too much for me. <laughs> now that we've taken care of the donut business, I wanted to swing back down to the MetaQuest because they actually seen the video where I came out last time, and they invited me back out to try it again and to give me some additional footage. So I said, yeah, absolutely. If you're not sure what the MetaQuest is, it's a free interactive experience down here where you get to actually go into Galaxy's Edge virtually and like go into Ogre's Canteen and it's really awesome It cost nothing and even when you do get to actually do the experience, they actually give out prizes like I've seen them give out gift cards and free posters and also some free uh, coffee mugs. So you definitely want to check it out. If, it, if it's free, it's for me. Like I said earlier, I've done this before, and I want to point out that this is the old NBA experience, and it's a really cool interactive thing, and you end up putting like the uh, MetaQuest, you put the, the headset on, and you basically go to Star Wars Tales from Galaxy's Edge, and this is a game that you can buy, so I'm very excited to show you guys again, because it is fun. I had to take my hat off because I know that I'm putting the headset on. It doesn't fit well with the hat. And uh, it's still shocking every time when I find out that I'm bald. Hey, how are you, man? Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the MetaQuest experience. Very cool. My name is Delmar. Delmar, nice to meet you, man. You are? Nate. Nate? Yeah. Good to see you, Nate. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. <laughs> this is the MetaQuest too. All right. right. It's the headset right here. And today we'll be playing Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> Well, I'm excited. Yeah. I will begin by telling you. The character that you play and experience is the Droid Repair Technician. And that's oh. your boss, Mubo. Right there. Gotcha. You crash landed on the planet of Batu, And you end up in the cantina, the final, with Caesar Snipe. That big guy right there. Very cool. Yeah. And he's more than welcome. Yeah. He allows you to interact all throughout the cantina. But there is a mission. The mission. You have to go out to the three subs overlook within the wilds and you have to recover cargo so you can leave the planet of Box Hill. Yeah, cheers. Yay. Any questions? You can go right ahead and ask. Can I throw this at him? Yeah, I don't think you're going to hit him. Acid spit of tails, of course. When Deadwood scales. So cool. Oh, you don't want to forget we can play darts, right? Yeah. What are you doing this right? Alright, so here we go. Oh, that was a little off center. Yeah, because how it works is, I'm so horrible. You just aim and just let go of the grip button. There we go. Yeah, I gotta do this again. Now I got the practice. Hey! Here, go back. There we go. Oh. Alright, here we go. Here's a special. Tell you what. Here's the things that are bad. Oh no! I'm gonna fight him. Yeah, punch him. <laughs> he just stayed a chance. He didn't stand a chance. Oh, what, what is this guy doing? Oh, he stayed a chance. <laughs> Once you get done with the experience, you can come out and they give you a free MetaQuest water bottle. Isn't that cool? And then postcards too, right? Yeah, look at these yeah, fancy things. I like it. You gotta hit the swag booth, you know? <laughs> I'll take this one. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like this one as well? Yes, 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 I do. Oh, now my collection's complete. <laughs> 
was so awesome. I love the meta quest. I think it's so fun. And this time I have some gameplay footage that I can insert in there and show you guys. And I'll put all the information in the description below in case you guys are interested in it. And like the footage probably doesn't do it justice. It just feels so realistic. Like you're really, really there. And I love that. Like, and it's something free to do. Something free. And uh, it's all the way here. It's here for another month. Uh, so I think we're going to maybe head home. Set up Gracie's bed. Give her a pup cup. And uh, yeah, a day well spent here at Disney Springs, as you can tell, as I'm walking around with this gigantic mattress in my back. <laughs> Gracie! There she is! Woohoo! I got you a good present! Whoa! Look at you! Where's that smile? Whoa! What? 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 Huh? Gracie was so excited to see me until she saw the gigantic bag that I was carrying and then she got afraid because she doesn't like big things. So uh, let's show her her bed, give her a pup cake and set up her new food area. This is her food area right now at the moment. I thought she was on the contemporary one but she's actually on the monorail mat and we're going to swap it out for this one right here and see how it looks. I don't know. I don't think I like it. It looks so tiny now. Maybe I should see what it looks like with the Mickey on top of the mat. I'm sure it would look a lot better if she had a matching bowl set, but I mean, she needs her 101 Dalmatians water bowl. Like, I can't give her something other than that. So I always buy the sets, but I always break them up because she's always gonna have that as her water dish. You know what I mean? It's perfect for her. So I can never give her something else, and I only have one of them. And uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna slide this back over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back like this. There we go. Maybe put this right here, and this right here, and see how she likes it. I think that looks good. You want a pup cup? Huh? <gasps> what do you think? You want a pup cup? You want this? All right, I'm gonna put it right here. Oh yeah, it's yours. Go get it. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Gracie has three different dog beds, but she doesn't really use any of them. She doesn't sleep in her dog bed. She sleeps with me. And uh, she likes to sit in one in the corner in the bedroom. Like, I have no idea. It's, it's such an awkward spot. Like, it's behind the door, but she likes to sit in it sometimes. So I think I'm going to swap that one out with the new one, and hopefully she'll hop in it. And the other ones, like, I have them around the house. I have one in the living room she never uses. I have one on the patio outside so that she can sit there instead of sitting on the pavement. And she just sits on the pavement so she doesn't use the you know what I mean so uh, I'm gonna swap that one and see if she'll actually maybe use it this is the bed that she likes to sit in look at her right here it's like a little fancy spot what are you doing she hears me talking about her what are you doing huh it's behind the door though it's so strange so I'm gonna give you a new bed okay this one's gonna go into your new bedroom yeah it's gonna go over there now we got a new one for you. Come on, we're over here. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? You like it? Do you like it? <laughs> Wait, you left. What? I thought you liked it. Do you not like it? Huh? What do you think? I like it. Oh, I like it. I like your new bed. Yes, I do. <laughs> As you can see, Dalmatians have completely taken over my bedroom. <laughs> I just love it. And I love Gracie, so it's perfect, you know? I was hoping that maybe you would like to sit in your new bed. Is that something you're interested in? Sounds like you're interested in it. Are you interested in it? Huh? Are you interested in your new bed? No? Are you interested in a belly rub? You tell me. I will keep you guys updated whether or not Gracie likes the bed. <laughs> I mean, at this moment, she hopped in it, she smelled it a little bit, and then she hopped back on the bed. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And also, I wanna point out, I got Gracie another Haunted Mansion uh, 
necklace or collar. And actually, I didn't get it, but Jerry and Mary got her this and made this for her. And Jerry and Mary, thank you guys so much. They were the first people to ever give her this. I remember Jerry and Mary, me, we've been friends for so many years. And thank you so much. I can't wait to switch it out. Gracie's happy to have her Haunted Mansion collar back. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.